Hello, I'm Michael and welcome to Tamenuri Studio. Today we will show you a little bit of in packaging. I waited for this package for a very long time. I ordered some uh, tools and materials from Japan uh, in March and shortly after that uh, the EMS service was shut down by Japanese post and my package came back to Watanabe Shoten uh, where I ordered it. At the same time I ordered another uh, set of materials from Katokohei Shoten and exactly the same happened. So both packages, one from Osaka, one from Tokyo, went back to the shops and uh, until now they were unable to send it. But like two weeks ago uh, Japan Post uh, brought EMS service back to Poland and I was able to finally order uh, some goodies. So as you can see here uh, it's nicely wrapped in and packaged with uh, Japanese newspapers. I always keep them and to look through them. I don't understand a word or a sign, I'd say. Maybe just telephone numbers and uh, opening hours. And uh, it's always funny to see a completely different culture and there are newspapers, like daily newspapers, how they look like, what they are writing about based on pictures and stuff like this. Uh, what you see here is a special paper which is, which is used for transferring the designs onto the piece you are lacquering. It's used for maki -e and for chinkin and for some other techniques. You make a drawing uh, or a picture or something like that. You trace it uh, on this paper, so you put this paper which is semi-transparent, translucent, you trace it and then on the other side you paint with a urushi and transfer it to the piece. This is a piece of raden, uh, it will become raden, but now it was just a um, piece of uh, mother of pearl. Those wipes here are lint-free wipes which are absolutely best for uh, working with uh, uvazuri. So they are lint free, which is very important for uvazuri, and their structure is that they are like uh, crimpled and they have a lot of small but very soft edges and uh, they are great for uvazuri. So wiping off the raw lacquer, high quality low lacquer from, uh, from uh, the piece you are finishing or polishing. I made a video on Uvazuri and just look at my profile. And here's another paper, it's Yoshino paper, which is used for uh, filtering uh, Urushi. Uh, I use it quite a lot and it depends on the amount of Urushi, but it's 100 sheets, I have 30 more, so it will last a year, probably. And this is a powder from Sanva. Uh, this powder is used for Duzuri, so uh, initial uh, initial polishing uh, of the final layer of lacquer. Another box in the box, as you can see packaged even better, and some delicate stuff. Those pliers are for handling gold leaf. They are made of bamboo and gold leaf does not stick to them and it's uh, it's very useful. This brush is interesting because uh, formally it's illegal to bring it to Europe from Japan. Uh, it's brush made of cat hair, cat fur. I don't know if any cats were hurt making this brush, but uh, later, after I ordered it, I uh, learned that it's illegal to bring those brushes or any products from cat's hair to Europe. Those two brushes are for sprinkling uh, metal powders on wet urushi and they are used for makia. And this brush is very important for me because it will be used to make a pen for my son. So first proper makia. Uh, I'm going to do. As you can see, it's extreme, extremely fine but very long. 
And now it's a little bit stiff because it's infused with some glue, but uh, you have to uh, wet it and get off rid of the glue and it's extremely fine and fantastic brush. Several hake, I bought three of them. Uh, the small one uh, yeah, I brought out first was for base layers. It's low quality, but it's made of human hair, but it's low quality, like basic brush. And I will, uh, I will use it for uh, base layers. The middle, or the the middle one is the very high quality brush for top layers. Uh, as you can see, the edges of this brush are not cut yet, so it must be sharpened first, so prepared for work. The third one is just a Kiradashi Hake, so very simple basic brush, uh, but already made with human hair and uh, I use it for general uh, layering of middle layers and even top layers, but not the last one. Uh, Kiko mold paste for polishing and washi tape, but not a decorative washi tape, but washi tape for masking. This tape is incredible. I had a sample of this tape before and there is nothing you can buy in Europe or in States which can compete, it, compete with it. I used many different tapes, uh, used for lacquering cars, for different jobs and nothing came even close. It's thin and very strong. This palette is placed on a thumb. Uh, you have to add a, a rubber, uh, rubber band or a string to it. There are small openings and you place it on your thumb of your left hand where you keep the piece and then with the, you put some urushi on it and making maki eye you use it as a palette. Uh, it's very important because moves at maki eye are very uh, minimalistic so it's it's nice to have it handy this is a ikake urushi in a traditional packaging it's paper packaging so i think once i open it i will transfer it to the tube and can uh, shit so fun in vermilion uh, so it's hardened urushi vermilion urushi then grind it to fine powder, maybe not very fine, but there are still granules and it's a great 100 powder. And I will make a very nice uh, pen with it. That's it, more or less. So the knife I used for opening the package and opening each uh, uh, package inside was a Kiradashi. It's also a Japanese knife, also from Fatanabe Shoten and it's very useful. I usually use it for sharpening uh, hackers, so for shortening and sharpening my brushes and for wooden spatulas and some other work. That's it. I'm waiting for another package and if you're interested in buying Urushi stuff from Japan, those two shops I mentioned, so Watanabe Shoten and Katokohei Shoten are very good and they speak English, websites are in English. The ordering process may be sometimes not straightforward as in uh, Western shops, but they are very nice and very helpful. So if you want to buy something, just try them. I will need to find space for all this stuff and start using it. So thank you again, bye and see you in one of my future videos, hopefully I will, I will be using some of those tools on them, bye.